kind of see how this gets up and moves. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be looking at the all-new Audi SQ8. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the strong Audi here in downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this SQ8. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you guys can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask for Mike or Landon. And then on a side note, if you want to save time, money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a four liter twin turbo V8 that goes to an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 21 on the highway with power outputs being 500 horsepower at 5,500 RPMs and then 567 pound feet of torque at 3,000 RPMs. And because we all know that this is the same exact powertrain that is in the Lamborghini Urus, hypothetically, if you wanted to, you could tune this to have crazy amounts of power, but you know, 500 is still a lot. Let's go over the front end of the SQ8. And by the way, this one's finished in Nardo Gray, which is actually a special color that you have to like specially order on the SQ8, which is pretty cool. Anyways, you guys can see we've got really distinctive body lines there on the hood. And then coming down below, we've got our crazy daytime running lights with the LED headlamps. And notice we've got some parking sensors integrated into the front end. I like how nicely integrated they are overall. We've got the Audi logo there with the camera below the logo. SQ8 logo here off to the side. And I love how like the trim here is black that goes into the headlight because it makes it look all like uniform and connected. And it gives this like a stormtrooper type appearance. I understand this isn't a white car, but it just, I don't know, it has a really distinctive cool look. Coming around the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 285, 40, 22 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see the design on the wheels, how you've got the silver on the top and then it's kind of like this really dark metallic gray. It's almost like a black actually. I mean, maybe it is considered black and I'm just colorblind, but either way, darker on the inside portion of the wheel, which looks really cool. And then we've got our giant red brake caliper, which you notice you have like the S logo on it, which is pretty neat. And then I love how the fender flares are body painted. That looks really good. And then you see this black trim piece along the side. Mirrors are blacked out, window trim's all blacked out. And once you see it all together, that looks pretty sweet. There you go. So here's our key fob. Notice that, uh, well, nothing's happening there on the back, but on the front, we have our lock function, the opening for the trunk, the unlock, and the Audi logo. So we'll press this a couple times, and then I'll pop this right open. You guys can see we've got the cargo cover already built in. And notice we've got these controls here to raise and lower the rear end because this does have Audi's adaptive air suspension. So that's a pretty cool feature to have. And then we also have like a LED light here on the other side. And then notice the covering here is actually rubber so that you can just throw whatever you want. Great for places like Utah that it snows. And then there's some more space underneath with our little spare. If anything ever happens, you can get to the dealer. And then you guys can see here with the metallic trim. And overall, super practical. And then when you're done, you can lock it. You can just press that and that'll lower it back down and boom. Now finishing things up with the rest of the rear, you guys can see we've got the signature Q8 taillights, which really cool. Again, I love how Audi has like sequential built into every single one of their taillight designs, but obviously it has that like light bar appearance. And then we've got the Audi logo SQ8 here on the other side. And then we've got these really aggressive exhaust tips. And then of course we have a receiver hitch in the center. This is my favorite part about performance SUVs is they'll have like a diffuser, aggressive exhaust tips, and then receiver hitch because you know, you can tell with them. So just interesting. Just imagine like a, I don't know, like a Lamborghini with like a receiver hitch in the center. That it, it's, it's kind of like the same concept. So let's go over the rear door panel here. So first off, you guys can see we've got the sunshade here at the top, and then notice the Alcantara in the center, and then we have some carbon fiber, and then red leather down below, which is definitely fun. What is this for? I guess it's an ashtray, <laughs> that is hilarious. And then notice here with the window control setup, and one of the speakers for the sound system, absolutely massive, Bang & Olsen sound system, if you guys are wondering. And then here are the rear seats. Look at the design here in the center of the seat. That looks absolutely fantastic. Black seat belt, so it actually contrasts. Anyways, popping in, Ooh, there's your leg room. Yeah, and then you got these little nets. We've got vents here for the rear passengers as well. And then I'll turn the car in just a second so you guys can see what that screen's all about. And then we've got some charging ports down below. And then we have our 
very over-engineered cup holder armrest setup. That's a, that's a very satisfying click when that went in. Here's a better view of the seats, by the way. So here is the screen while it's on. You guys can see this is the climate controls for the rear. So we have our own like climate zone on either side, which is pretty neat. And then we also have heated seats as well. And so, yeah, pretty cool setup. Let's head to the front. Now let's go to the front door panel here so you guys can see with the Alcantara trim just like the rear door panel and then the red leather. All of our window controls here and then notice we have like the multi-mirror controls what I'm going to call it multi-mirror control. I don't know if that makes sense but anyways you can adjust the mirrors then you can also like fold them in with that function and then you also have like the heated mirror function. It's all built into like one tab and so it's yeah very interesting but there's a quick look at the mirrors themselves you guys are wondering. And then we've got memory seats, more carbon fiber trim, another speaker for the Bang & Olsen sound system. That's to open up the hatch, and then S logo right there. And then here's a quick look at the front seats themselves. Another S logo on the front seats. Love the design there on the center portion. Looks really cool. And here's the bottom. Power adjustments on the side. And then for those of you that are wondering, payload capacity is 981 pounds. And then here is the quick look at the pedals down below, SQ8 right there, more carbon fiber trim, and then the light controls on that little tab, and let's pop in. So here is our steering wheel for the SQ8. We've got really nice leather trim here at the top and at the bottom with our S logo, and then notice we've got that golf ball texture on the sides so can get a slightly better grip on it, and frankly, just feels cool. Paddle shifters here on the back for the eight speed automatic. Some controls here for the center stack, voice command, volume, phone controls, all that on the other side. And then we have our turn signal stock, cruise control stock, windshield wiper stock, lots of stocks, but there's the steering wheel. So here is our gauge cluster. I love the RPMs front and center because I guess we're in dynamic mode right now, but overall really cool looking gauge cluster. And just like other Audis, it's like the virtual cockpit setup. So notice you got the navigation screen, but I can change the view. So like, boom, full screen. Now, so yeah, just tons of customization with the screen. You can see different bits of info on everything. And look at this with the navigation. I can zoom in and out with the little scroll pad. I don't know, I think it's fun. Um, but overall, I think they did a good job. And look at that boost. So if I like floored a little bit. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, there you go. So sorry about the like half lighting there on the screen. But anyways, let's pop it into reverse. You guys can see we've got a backup camera, which trajectory lines that turn the steering wheel. And notice, the camera turns when you turn that. This also has Audi's 3D view, so it gives you this 3D look on the exterior of the car, which is also fun. And then we have like a different like little angle thing, so you can like choose, I guess, with that. But if we go out of 3D, we have our full 360 view. So like, oh, that's cool. It like morphed from a camera perspective. Wow, that's interesting. It like zooms in. Yeah, this thing is fantastic. So. Moving on from that to the rest of the infotainment screen, you have a shortcut bar here on the side of the screen, and then you can just scroll regularly with all of this, so you guys can see there. And then you just kind of like lightly click to go into the different tabs. Now let's see if this has massaging seats. So we just go to the seat tab there, and temperature balance. Oh, we don't have massaging seat, it's okay. It's okay, I just, I just wanted to see. Anyways, drive modes, this is the fun part. So you have to kind of click a little bit. We have our all road mode, as if anyone would ever take this off road. Comfort, auto, dynamic, individual. And I, I should like rephrase, all road is, you know, I you could technically use an off road mode, but like also just like maybe deep snow or something like that. And notice that that adaptive air suspension is adjusting to a higher ride height, popping it into that mode. So the suspension will adjust depending on the drive mode that you go into, which is pretty cool. Now we have our secondary screen down below. So we're actually gonna turn that down a little bit. So dual zone climate system here for the front, heated and cooled seats in the front as well. Notice we got a hill descent control up there and then that's for your garage door openers and then like you can turn off the top screen if you want. So pretty cool functionality. And then the drive mode select is here at the bottom, stability control and then stuff for the climate system. And then really like the volume control. The fact that it has a volume control is great because a lot of cars are going away from that but also just like it looks nice from material standpoint and then our red stop start button shifter for that eight speed automatic it's pretty simple you just forwards and backwards just like kind of like a traditional shifter but obviously it doesn't like move uh, so it actually saves quite a bit of space and then just p for park and then really nice parking brake and i'm really impressed with the material use like throughout in that section. And then look at the carbon fiber and the stitching. And fit and finish is also really solid. So the center console actually uh, threw me a curveball. So to lift it up, 
you just lift it up. I know, counterintuitive, right? But then they have a tab on this, so you think, oh, I'm supposed to do the tab to lift it up, which I guess you technically can, but the tab is so you can pull it forward. So, yeah. Anyways, more carbon fiber here on the dash and then quattro badge, and then really nice leather trim here at the top of the dash. And then you guys can see with the nice felt-lined glove box. And then, up at the very top, we've got the control for sunroof. So this is for the sunshade, that's for the roof itself. Panoramic sunroof, if you guys are wondering, and there you go. So here's our window sticker for this SQ8. You guys can see almost everything is standard equipment. Notice four year, 50,000 mile new vehicle warranty. This color, by the way, is $4,800, which is kind of crazy. It also has like the black optics package as well. Um, anyways, after all options, and I guess a delete with the Audi phone box, total MSRP on this is $109,245. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood with the heads up display. Both of the mirrors, which do have blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So, setting off here in the SQ8. And funny enough, the only other Q8 I've driven is the RS Q8. And I've also driven the Lamborghini Urus, so Urus, however you want to say it. So I will be making some uh, comparisons with all of those vehicles. First off, seat comfort is amazing. I don't know why I look every single time because like there's, people can't drive through that road right now. But still, I just force a habit just to be safe. Um, yeah, like I said, seat comfort's great. The adaptive air suspension helps out quite a bit. Now, just like Audi's other S models and RS models, they do tune the suspension to just be kind of on the firmer side all the time, but there is a comfort setting, which I can pop it into. And well, comfort in the name, right? It's supposed to make everything a little bit more uh, comfortable and we'll kind of see on that. But that's just something to kind of understand is this is definitely tuned more towards the sporty side. So if you want like a more sporty, fun driving experience, yeah, you get that. But you also do have a slightly firmer uh, ride because of it. Oh yeah, comfort setting helps out a massive amount. Like this is full on luxury car now. So yeah, that's the thing that's great about having air suspension is that you can just, you can adjust everything and just, you know, make it nice and firm or make it softer depending on height and all that. So yeah, they did a great job with the suspension setup. I love the golf ball steering wheel. I used to not be like a huge fan of this, but like now that like time has gone on and other manufacturers have released like other types of steering wheels, I've now decided that I really like this like golf ball texture. I think that it's, I don't know, I, I think that's probably the route to go. Um, other stuff uh, with the SQ8, it's pretty quiet actually inside here. Like they, they did a really good job with the cabin insulation. Like this can do all the normal luxury car stuff. And uh, like reviewing Audis over the last week, like I'm so impressed with the build quality inside these cars. That's one of the biggest things uh, with Audis. It seems like they just have really solid build quality, especially when you compare it to some other automakers. Now I just popped it into the dynamic setting still pretty quiet i will say that the uh, um, rsq8 and then the lambo suv the urus are a little bit noisier than this the exhaust but this still sounds good still a v8 sounds that nice rumbly sound let's see how that transmission Ooh, you get like little crackles listen that's fun that is fun that's for sure uh, so <laughs> great sounding exhaust, but let's get a little acceleration here and just kind of see how this gets up and moves <laughs> Whoa! Wow, yeah, that is that is as quick as I remember so here's the deal with most day-to-day -day driving the power difference between this and the RSQ8 and the Urus It's not as substantial as you would think this is still extremely quick uh, the biggest thing is like top end, right? Top end, those are going to be pulling a lot higher. But like at the same time, are you really going to take this to the 160, 70, 80, 90 mile an hour speed limit, whatever they have? I think it's like 190 for the Lambo SUV. Are you really going to take it up to that amount of speed, right? 
Probably not. So here's the deal. This looks amazing, and frankly, to the untrained eye, it looks identical to an RS Q8, and it's just a really good looking vehicle overall. But it has the same engine, so like, if you really wanted the power, kind of like I said earlier, hypothetically, you could just take it, tune it, and you basically have a similar acceleration experience at a fraction of the cost, especially when you compare it to the Lambo SUV, um, but also to the RS Q8 sibling, so... Yeah, I'm a big fan of the SQ8. Let me know what you guys think. That's because something's up with our video on this SQ8. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the strong Audi here in downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this SQ8. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below. Ask for Landon or Mike if you have any questions. I'll see you.